okay here's my uh, two dollar and fifty cent uh, transmission bypass tube uh, solution I've seen uh, they make these bushings that they go in here and you slide the bolt through it and uh, you do away with that bypass tube because they tend to have problems and what have you and they say it's bad so this one here the back one I used a three-quarter inch nut and put the uh, crush washers on either side, snug it up to spec, and uh, that'll be that'll be good on that. That's got the check valve inside of it. I checked mine, made sure it was all good, just went ahead and left it so it could add some kind of back pressure. Uh, some says that, oh, you know, you need a little bit of back pressure, and mine's working fine. But... Uh, Here's the one that goes on the front, just to give you an idea. Uh, okay, here's the uh, the bolt, the banjo bolt, uh, which we will no longer be using it as a banjo bolt. It'll just be a straight, straight shot through there. Uh, the crush washer goes on it. Like I said, some of those guys are out there selling these, and I have a little mini lathe that I was going to turn some out, and then I got to thinking. Well, these has a, a real nice machined edge on these. I got at Home Depot. This one is a 5 8 Fits perfect over top of that. And then the other crush washer goes on it like, like that. And then when you uh, torque them to spec, that's going to seal it. And uh, you do away with that uh, bypass tube. But uh, to show you, I mean, just put it right back in there and uh, do away with that uh, bypass tube. I just want to show you an inexpensive way because uh, some of those kits, man, they're pretty expensive to, I've seen them as high as $80 for these bushings. Uh, and it's a 5 8 bushing and then a 3 quarter bushing. I would, like I said, I was going to machine them, but uh, man, I tell you, I think this is the way to go, folks. That way you got them good and true um, so you, you know, you, in case if you used to put it, chuck it up in the lathe a little bit out of cattywampus and, you know, one side be, you know, shorter than the other, which I don't think I would have done that, but I'm just saying on your, your behalf, you'd never be able to take a, you know, a hacksaw and cut it true, but just get you some, uh, a, a 5 8 uh, nut, that's the size diameter of the hole on the inside, and this is a 3 quarter inch hole on the inside of it for the rear. I just wanted to pass that on to you, maybe uh, save you all some money and uh, get rid of the problems. Because you really want all your fluid to go through the uh, transmission cooler. They say they have problems and then they'll just circulate the fluid within the transmission. And um, that's where you have heating, overheating problems and wear clutches and so forth. But just wanted to pass that on to you.